I'm just recovering from some flu, but I want to say, first of all, to do something which has got nothing to do with Sport Pesa, but I feel obliged to do it. I want to congratulate the CEO stroke MD of Sport Pesa, Captain Ronald Karauri, on his election as a member of parliament. How often do you get sponsored by a company that is doing that well and then which is managed by a man who knows how to fly an aircraft, a man who also knows how to represent his people of Kasarani in parliament? Applause to him. The third thing I want to do is to thank Sport Pesa first for the previous partnership. They did not walk away on us. Something happened that was, I can only call, uh, I practice law, so sometimes we call it a force majeure, an act of God. Something happened that compelled them not to continue with the sponsorship. But I think without uh, being accused of any bias, they have been arguably the best sponsors that we have had since the inception of the club in 1968. Curtis Sport Pesa, we went beyond this country. We went beyond this country. Before going beyond this country, we won many, many, many trophies. That is why we are called the record 19 times champions. Our followers are at number 13, six times. It will take a very long time to reach 19. What with the competent team that we have and the competent technical bench that we have. So we went, you heard, we were in Everton. Our patron was with us there, and we played in that soil. It was not difficult to get visas. Hull City came and played here. I went to Hull, all these courtesy of Sport Pesa. Some of us went to the World Cup. Some of us went to the European Cup, courtesy of Sport Pesa at that time. We played some regional tournament, if you remember, in Nakuru, sponsored by Sport Pesa. So I don't want to bore you with the achievements and the kind of support that we have had from uh, Sport Pesa. That was for the past. For the present, I want to really thank them for coming to our aid in this new partnership. You must have read a lot of negative material in the press, both social and formal media, people talking about the players, oh, nine players are training. Of course, I'm going to be talking about something about social media before I conclude. But we have had financial difficulties, one aggravated by COVID. And that's why you get to hear, oh, God has been taken to FIFA. There are players who get quickly advised, or even coaches quickly advised to go, to go to FIFA. We have not got our full salary, yes. When COVID was on, there was no football. There was no sponsor. There was no income. So where would anybody expect Mugabe <laughs> to, to get funds to be able to pay? So please, before you go to th FIFA to make claims and all those kind of things, remember that it is not our, it was never been our intention not to pay full salaries because uh, it, it just, there, was no, there was no money to do, to do so and no sponsor. You remember BetSafe brought it to 50% and then recently our new partners, you may have, we don't want to say anything negative about, about them, but it was a, the, short, the shortest sponsorship period that we have had for reasons that I will not delve into.
So, thank you very much again. We are looking forward to a very fruitful relationship. I want to thank uh, Captain uh, Ronald Karauri for, and Mr. Mumuirigi and Mr. Gelfa Sokuku. This partnership took a very short time of negotiation. I think it took a day only, and we were able to have the partnership back in place, which is formally being launched today. Mr. Murigi worked over time. Mr. Gerfa Zokuku worked over time. We called Captain Karauri in parliament. He saw my missed calls when he was in parliament. And we were able to finalize this relationship. And I think looking at the terms of it, very, very, very beautiful terms. I will talk only about one. If you win and go to play in Africa, any time we will be going out of Africa, they will give us six million shillings for accommodation and transport. It has never been in any contract. We have been struggling to be able to, to travel. For those of us who went to North Africa, which is that town we went into and arrived two hours, two hours to the time of playing. We, were, we went to play in Burundi. Again, we arrived just four hours in Burundi. Philemon, I hope you remember, arriving in, in Burundi four hours to time and into, I think it was in Morocco or something like that. We arrived just two hours to play. All these were struggles because we could not raise funds to be able to travel or even to be able to be accommodated. At one place, I think our meal consisted only of uh, lopa. Lopa in, in, in the French side is some long piece of bread that you will always find free on any table that you go into. One of the results of the march of the women preceding the French Revolution of 1789. <laughs> now, I want to thank Sport Pesa and wish you well. I pray that this partnership, or call it a marriage, don't care who is the lady and who is the man, <laughs> but this marriage should last for a very, very, very long time. Second last thing that I want to say is about the social media. Please let us watch against what we read in social media. It can damage, ruin, because what we call the veracity, the truthfulness of what they say is something that you cannot prove or rely on. Most of the times, I just read it with disgust. And some, sometimes most of you think, oh, the chairman, is he in this wall? Yes, I read. But I will not respond. I cannot respond to crap. I will not. But do mind what you do in your social media, the damage. We begin to get a sponsorship. Most of you are out there writing nonsense. If you have nothing to do, don't do it here. Want to say. So let's watch out for things that you put out up there. I see many people writing, oh, don't be sponsored by a betting person. Bring your sponsor. No, we don't want betting. You are the religious, you are the high priest. Go to heaven. The future, I want to say the last thing, is that as has happened in the past, if we had started this a little bit earlier, we could have been in Qatar in November, but Captain, Think about taking the whole of Gormahia to the World Cup in 2027. Include Jaro Soja in there uh, <laughs> so that he can hold I want to thank you for allowing me to talk boring things. Thank you. <laughs>